Hey guys, this is Joseph from Play Tennis. Today I'm going to be talking about how to beat a counter puncher. Firstly, what is a counter puncher when it comes to tennis? They are a type of player that has the main focus on just getting every ball back. So they adopt a defensive style of play. They generally tend to have a good level of fitness, awesome footwork, and solid ground strokes. All the way from the intermediate to professional level, we see players adopting the counter-punching style of play. I have experience playing against counter-punches as well as using counter-punching in my own competitive play. I tell you, it can be frustrating playing against a counter-puncher. So in today's video, I want to share with you some key points that are going to help you beat them. Key point number one is use variety in your game. When I'm talking about variety, I want us to use different types of spin and pace in our strokes, every point that we play. So by mixing it up, changing the pace and the spin in each point, we're gonna take away rhythm from our opponent. Counter punches like rhythm, they like repetition and they can just rally the whole day. So by adding variety in the shots that we hit, for example, I go flat backhand, the next shot, I do a slice backhand followed by a sudden injection of pace on my forehand side. So by doing this, we're gonna keep the counter puncher or the opponent guessing. We don't wanna be predictable tennis players. We wanna be unpredictable, all right? So again, use variety in your game to take rhythm away from those counter punches. Key point number two is take control of the point. We're playing against a defensive player. Let's be offensive. Let's be attackers and take control, okay? Counter punches again, gonna be comfortable just doing long rallies with you. So let's try and cut the point shot with aggressive style of play. I'm not talking about spanking every ball as hard as you can, but playing and waiting and looking for that short ball or that opportunity to finish the point. So, we're engaged in a rally. Once we get a weak ball from the counter puncher or a short ball, let's take some risk and attack the ball. This is where I get onto my third key point, which is attack the net, all right? So as well as being aggressive with our ground strokes and looking for the opportunity to attack the short ball, rather than just hitting winners, we can also think about hitting an approach shot. Get into the net, Finish off the point with an easy volley. Key point number four is attack their weaknesses. So being attacking players as well as being thoughtful tennis players, we're gonna try and look for the opponent's weak points. Generally, from my experience, counter punches tend to be most comfortable when they're behind the baseline, hitting ground stroke after ground stroke in long rallies. And often, they like this style of play and they're not comfortable or not as comfortable volleying. So let's try and push them out of their comfort zone, drop shot, get them to come into the net and see how comfortable they are hitting volleys. If we identify that volleying is one of their weaker shots, let's force them to get into the net more with our drop shots. Key point number five is use angles in your shots. When we talk about angles, we mean hitting closer to the lines, getting closer to the sides of the court, which means your opponent is gonna to have to run more. And by doing this, we're gonna make them uncomfortable, tire them out hopefully, as well as push them off balance. So use more angles in your shots, whether it be off your serve, your volley, or your ground strokes. Key point number six, and the final key point of today's video to beat a counter puncher is to be patient. So we've already discussed adopting an attacking style of play in order to beat the counter puncher, but it's important that we also have a certain level of patience. We can't just be hoping to smack winners off every ball that we get. We need to be able to build the rally. So trade with the opponent in terms of ground strokes and wait for the right opportunity to 
attack the short ball, hit an approach shot, or get into the net and finish off the point. That pretty much wraps it up for today's video, guys. I hope you found the tips useful. Stay safe.